So you're either starting a business or someone has charged you with updating, fixing, or completely <laughs> demolishing your website and you have no idea where to begin. Well, I'm so happy you're here. First things first is the biggest question I get at the Gut Click Shop is what's the difference between hosting and domains and what does that all mean? Well, let me step you through all of that. If you're thinking about building your own website, chances are you've heard some of these names, Joomla, Serif, WordPress, might be Drupal is one of them. These are all builders, if you will. Think of it as building your own house. If you were going to build a log home, for example, you'd get a log kit, maybe made by a certain manufacturer. So Joomla, Serif, and WordPress, these are all manufacturers that make website templates. So you can utilize these systems to build your own place, your own website, so to speak. Now, hosting is the land that you put your house on. So hosting could be where your emails sit for your website, where your website itself lives. So hosting holds all of your website components from your Joomla, your Serif, or your WordPress websites. So that's an example of what hosting is. Now the domain is simply the address. So a domain is like your street address, 3 Main Street. Uh, mine is gotclicks.biz. Now it doesn't matter whether you have .com or .biz, although most people relate to .com a lot easier. The point is that people can understand what your product is in a very short amount of time. So let's take a look at picking the right domain name. First of all, you want to have a domain that has most of your keywords in it because when a client goes to search for you, they're going to be searching on the search engines and they'll be selecting certain keywords to find you. So keep that in mind when you're choosing the domain name. Make sure it's easy to say and spell. .com, like I said, is preferable, but any prefix is fine as long as it has your keyword components in it what web builder to choose? This is a very, very important question. It really depends on what you're trying to do. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of Joomla and Serif Web Plus. Joomla is great for larger enterprise companies, whereas Serif Web Plus is perfect for solopreneurs, small business, maybe you have one or two employees that are going to be updating the website. That is really what Serif Web Plus is geared for. Customized subscriptions are super on Joomla. If you have any sort of customization of a, a shopping cart or a subscription base or something that's a little more complicated than what you'd find in a PayPal, you want to stick with Joomla. If you're just beginning and you have a simple subscription base, PayPal will get you through just fine. And you can do those subscriptions easily through Serif Web Plus. E-commerce solutions are super on Joomla, especially if they're customized. You also might want to think about something that's called Big Commerce. We've had great success using Big Commerce for some of our clients, but also Joomla has a wonderful shopping cart built right in too. E-commerce through PayPal. Serif Web Plus is good for if you have 10 products are under. I really wouldn't go much higher than that. If you have 15, 20, 30 products, then you're really looking for a serious e-commerce component. Free software is available through Joomla, but the learning curve is very steep. So you want to be patient with yourself. You want to find a very, very good instructor to help you. WebHelpUS.com has excellent tutorials out there in teaching you how to use Joomla. Now with Serif Web Plus, it is $120 or so for the software. The software is very intuitive and you can go out to YouTube forward slash got clicks and you'll see playlists. So if you go out to YouTube forward slash got clicks, you'll see tutorials for Serif Web Plus. All free, all available online. Now, as far as moving text or images is concerned, Joomla has very strict guidelines of exactly how to do that. Whereas if you're in Serif, it's very easy to move the images just by clicking and dragging anywhere and click and drag the size and shape of them. Whereas if you're in Joomla, it's a little more strict when it comes to images and where to store those images. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to take you out so that you can see all three of these, uh, Joomla, WordPress, and Serif Web Plus in action. So this website that we're looking at here, this is built in Joomla. And you can see that you can have these different articles is what they're known as and components. 
that are put into place. So this is an example of a Joomla website. Now these are really good if you have any subscription based or login based, anything that needs maximum security, I would highly recommend a Joomla website. This one is a Serif Web Plus. Very simple to use, very intuitive. Um, it does have the different sliders, it has more information. This is just a demo up here for now. And these are sliders that go across the screen. So this is a Serif Web Plus website. And lastly, this is a WordPress. I love WordPress for the blogging capability. It shows up great in the search engines, first of all. Second of all, it will help you with organizing any of your categories or any of your blogs that you've done in the past. So if you do need to do any sort of archiving with your articles, then WordPress really is the way to go. It's just perfect for doing anything with uh, blogging. And yes, you can build websites in WordPress as well. So very similar platform to what Joomla is, which I'll show you the, the uh, back end of all of these. And lastly, this is a website we built for a client, Kathy LeClaire Jewelry. This is done in big commerce. So if you have any sort of products or services that you need to sell, mostly products is where I would recommend using um, this platform with big commerce. It has an excellent back end. It tracks your inventory. It's easy to upload videos as well as pictures of your products and services. It has quick views on it and you're able to magnify some of these images as well. So if you have a product that it's very important for you to be able to see the detail, then big commerce is definitely the way to go. So that's a quick overview of what each of these look like. Let's go with the back end. This is how Joomla looks in the back end. Um, I'm just going to click save and close on this. And what I want to show you is in Joomla, the way that it's set up is the content is under Arc Article Manager. That's where you'd find most of your content and they do have it in alphabetical order so it's a little easier to find everything. So let's say that I want to go in and I want to edit this article and maybe I want to put an image in here. Let me show you how that works. So I would go under content first and I'd go under article manager and these are all in alphabetical order depending upon the title that you have. So I do know that the title had started with Joomla which is a J. There it is. And so I just click on that and it will open up into what is known as a WYSIWYG, which is what you see is what you get. And again, you can just start typing in here. And if I wanted to add an image, I simply put my cursor where I want the image and I click the image bar. And you do need to upload your images into a separate place. Now I've already gone ahead and done that. I'm not giving you a real full-blown training in Joomla. I'm just giving you a quick overview. So I've already uploaded this image and I might want to make it a bit smaller. So if I wanted to make it 275, it will change the proportions. Now I'm limited as to where I can put that image as I would be in a WordPress as well. And I can also put my margins in here as well. And, and then I click insert. And I'm just going to save this. And then when I go out to Joomla, I'm going to refresh my page and I should see the change with it has my logo in here, or whatever image you decided you wanted to do. So that's a quick overview of what the back end looks like inside of Joomla. Now, what about WordPress? In order to see my backend in WordPress, I just click this little pencil in the upper right corner and it will take me to where I can just quickly add a new post. I also have a media library, links, and pages. So if I made this into a website, I could click on pages and it would show me uh, the different pages. I only have one because I strictly use this as just my blog. I don't turn, I didn't turn it into a website. Now if I want to go to any sort of comments or things that have happened on my blog, I can go in here. These are all of my posts that I've put in. 
So any comments or any feedback on any of the articles that I've written, I've got two pending here so far. So I would go in here and review these pending comments for my different blog posts that I've had. And so I can see that I've had two votes come in here and four bloggers have liked what I had so far. And these are the different replies that I've given back to people. And then in order to get back, I'm just going to click this globe for Got Clicks VT and go back to my dashboard. Now in order for me to post, all I need to do is just click Add New. And I can put my title here. And again, it's a WYSIWYG of what you see is what you get. I simply just start typing. And then if I want to add an image, I go into here. I can either upload images or just grab one here. And it's the same sort of concept as what we had with, um, with the Joomla. Again, you want to make sure that you fill this information in. And then in order to preview it, I just click here on the upper right side. So again, these are really quick overviews of how this all works. It's not published, it's just a preview. Now lastly, I'm just going to show how Serif works. If I want to update anything in Serif, I'm able to see the whole page and that's really the advantage of working inside of a Serif Web Plus website. You really get to see the whole page and how it works. If I want to change anything on here such as images, I simply click on the image and I can go into my computer and pick any image I want. And if I make a mistake, it's really not a big deal. I can just simply hit undo. And the same with text as well. This is all junk text here. So it's very, very intuitive. And then when I want to preview, I just click File, Preview, and I can preview it out on the web and be able to see my changes. So that's how all of those work. So what about WordPress? Well, it's great for blogging. That's what I use it primarily for, especially if I have a new client. I'm trying to get them noticed before I'm ready to launch the website. Sometimes I'll put them into a WordPress blog and get them going with that and their social media and then launch the website last. It seems to work really well. Shows up well in the searches. Again, like I showed you, it's similar to Joomla. It's strict in the picture text placement. It does have a WYSIWYG and it's free, but hosting will cost if you decide to host independent of WordPress. You'll notice for Got Clicks, I think it's gotclicksvt.wordpress.com. I wasn't really worried so much about the domain name in the WordPress because my mission with that was just strictly using it as a blog. It wasn't my main website. So that's totally up to you. Be happy to talk to you about the pros and cons of that if you want a one-on-one -on -one session. Big Commerce, like I showed you with Kathy LeClaire Jewelry's website, ideal for businesses selling over product, uh, 25 products or more. Great at tracking inventory, extremely SEO friendly, but remember junk in, junk out. You've got to make sure that you put your meta descriptions in there and describe your products really well so that it's easy for customers to find your products or services. Costs range between $29.95 a month to $199.95 per month. Before you build a website, know what you want the website to, to do. Do you want it to be an e-commerce? Then maybe you're looking at a Joomla or a big commerce solution. Are you looking for it to be informational, something simple? Well, maybe a Serif Web Plus would be perfect for you. If you're looking for subscriptions, again, you could do Serif if it's, if it's just small time, Joomla if you need high security. If you need blogging, WordPress, definitely hands down the best one. Although Joomla also does uh, blogging quite well too. Know what you want clients to do at your website. Do you want them to engage with you? Blog is perfect for that. 
Do you want sign up? A lead capture page. You probably don't even need a full-blown website. Just a lead capture device is fine. Lead pages works great for that. Um, also a Serif Web Plus website, perfect for that purpose. You can tie it with a MailChimp so it dumps into your email marketing strategy. Um, if you want clients to buy from you, Big Commerce, PayPal, Serif Web Plus, Joomla, all of them can do it. Um, it just depends upon the modality you want to use. And if you need help, I'm here, info at gotclicks.biz. You can also look me up on LinkedIn, Facebook, and uh, would love to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this was helpful. <music>